Welcome to Pastor David's Friday Playlist. This week is National Day of Prayer. It was on Thursday. And in honor of that, our theme this week is prayer. One of my favorite prayer songs is the Servant Song by Richard Gillard. He's from New Zealand. He calls himself a self-trained folk guitarist and folk singer. I first encountered this prayer song at the Promise Keepers movement back in the 1980s and 1990s. At arena events, it was prominently featured as part of the prayer music. And uh, the words are powerful, especially for this time we're in. Brother, sister, let me serve you. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too. We are pilgrims on the journey, brothers, sisters on the road. We are here to help each other, walk the mile and bear the load. I will hold the Christ light for you in the nighttime of your fear. I will hold my hand out to you. Speak the peace you long to hear. I will weep when you are weeping. When you laugh, I'll laugh with you. I will share your joy and sorrow till we've seen this journey through. A powerful song of sharing, mutual bearing, of praying with and for each other. Now, our second song this week comes from the disciples' request to Jesus, recorded in Luke's Gospel, 11th chapter, Teach Us How to Pray. And Jesus said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation. And it's also in Matthew's gospel. Jesus, again, is teaching on prayer, and he says, This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. You'll notice neither text has a word about trespasses. Where did that come from? It's only in the English language. It, the word was written by Thomas Cranmer, Archbishop of Canterbury, who wrote the Book of Common Prayer in the English language and then was subsequently killed for his efforts by Queen Mary, Bloody Mary. But the word is stuck, trespasses. It's not biblical, but it's the word we use. We United Methodists and Anglicans and Episcopalians and even Lutherans, we use it when we pray in the English language. The most famous setting of the Lord's Prayer is uh, Malat's setting. Albert Hay Malott grew up in World War II, came of age then, was a captain in the Special Forces of the United States Army and performed at USO events and tours worldwide. After the war, he became a noted and prolific Hollywood uh, composer. And this setting of the Lord's Prayer is the most famous musical setting and his most famous work. Please listen.